On Friday, December 14th, Whedon Academy will celebrate its 165th birthday. Eight years prior to the Civil War, a small group of abolitionists gathered on a grassy hill in Wheaton, seeking to create a new form of education. These parents who were fighting so hard to end slavery wanted to send their children to schools that believed and practiced like they did. They purchased 40 acres of land near the Wheaton family property, now the current campus of Wheaton College, for a mere $150. Their first building on campus still stands today within the current Blanchard Hall. In 1860, the original school was dissolved to create two separate entities moving forward. One was named Whedon College, and the other was named Whedon College Academy. These two schools remained on the same campus until 1945 when Whedon College Academy moved to its present location on Prince Crossing. The Academy purchased the land from the University of Chicago. Many of the buildings became dormitories and classrooms when the school moved in. Four years later, the campus gymnasium was built, now known as the Warrior Dome. And in 1951, an army chapel was purchased from Fort Ellis for $1,250, bringing a place of worship to this Christian school. In 1970, Whedon College separated from the academy officially and required a name change in response. The school became known as Whedon Christian High School and kept that name until 1995 when the school reclaimed the name Wheaton Academy. Throughout the past 165 years, God has helped to guide and protect the faculty, students, and staff of the school. We celebrate what God has done and what he has yet to accomplish. Although buildings, land, and policies have shifted throughout the course of its history, Wheaton Academy has and always will be a place that has high academic standards coupled with the biblical values centered around caring relationships. This is going to be a great year. Happy birthday, Wheaton Academy.